Suppose if you just want a simple bloom with alpha. Well, actually, this is pretty much the simplest one. But the first thing I'm going to do, and this may surprise you, is I'm going to turn bloom off. Then I'm going to go to film and set the sky to transparent and press F12 to render. Shut that. Pop into compositing. Then going to tick the three tick boxes, add nodes, auto render and backdrop. And I'm going to sh hold down shift, cut that in half and output viewer. Connect them and press V till that appears on screen. Something that's incredibly similar to the bloom is a node called glare. We can't really see what's going on and with the alpha layer here because it's it's not affecting alpha. And that's not exactly what we were after. What if we swapped sweet what if we what if we swapped streaks for fog glow? And we turn that up. And if we look at the bloom options here, we find the threshold default is 0.8. So if we set the threshold default to 0.8 here, you've no idea how many takes it's it took me to say threshold default. So that now the bloom is looking very similar to what we had, but it's still not actually affecting the alpha layer. So let's search for an add alpha, so a set alpha. And if you put that in there and that in there, it's kind of hard to see, but if we go there, we see that we are getting that bloom effect and it is for this this means we basically view the alpha of black black to white we find that we are seeing the bloom effect nice and if i go back to there but what we also want to take into consideration is the alpha here so if i add a maths node and we want to put it in here and we want to, yeah, let's add that alpha, the output of the glare, the brightness of the glare to the alpha here. And for some reason, if alpha goes above one, it does strange things to the colors. So if I set clamp there, we have bloom with alpha and we can just go and render a bong sequence. Well, it's okay, but frankly, I was hoping for a lot more bloom than this. So, what can I do about that? Well, first of all, I'm just going to sort of drag these over here, and I'm going to cut that in half there. So, I've not actually changed anything yet. And let's look at this mix option on the glare node. If I set it to minus one, I get entirely the unglared version of it. If I set it to zero, I get both of them together. And if I set it to one, I get just the glare. So now I'm going to add a mix node. And I want the glare to go into the second version of that. And then the out of it is going to be there. And into the first bit there, I'm going to put the image here and this I'm going to set to add. So what I've got now is exactly what I did before I started messing with that. But now I've got this factor here to play with. If I put it up to say four, we have way more glare or bloom, which or glow or whatever you want to call it. If you can think of anything else that's hard to do in Eevee with Alpha, give me a shout and I'll see if I can twist some notes together till it works. <laughs>